let me move on to the first question on lesson number four so friends while compared to lesson number two and lesson number three this lesson number four is completely different why because friends in lesson number two and lesson number three from the starting point a man moves exactly towards north or otherwise from the starting point a man moves exactly towards west or south or east but in this case in lesson number four from the starting point a man moves towards northeast or man moves towards southeast or southwest or northwest so friends my only advice just know a small trick if you know a small trick to crack this question then i can surely say that however the question is difficult you can surely crack all the question right so let me move on to the first question listen here friends prem goes seven kilometer towards southeast so from the starting point prem is going seven kilometer towards southeast we know that southeast will be this side and he is covering seven kilometer friends friends listen here after reaching this point just do a simple thing right after reaching this point just draw a small direction like this north south west and east friends got the logic from here prem is covering seven kilometer towards southeast and he reached this point my advice just to draw a small direction like this north south west and east next point friends and then he goes 14 kilometer towards west from this point a person is covering 14 kilometer towards west so western side will be this side and e is covering 14 kilometer towards west so we can say that this is 14 kilometer so friends listen carefully after reaching this point you should draw a small direction like this north south west and east if you follow this method however the question will be difficult first do not to worry about anything you can surely crack the question next point friends after this he goes seven kilometer towards northwest so from this point again seven kilometer towards northwest we know that this is also seven kilometer and this is also seven kilometer friends listen carefully from here he is covering seven kilometer towards northwest so northwest will be this direction so i can say that he will be at this point so again draw a small direction like this so north south west and east so friends this is also seven kilometers okay the last friends and in the end he goes 9 km towards east so from this point he is covering 9 km towards east so eastern side will be this side so 9 km i think this is the ending point and prem start from his house this is the starting point what is the question friends how far is he from his house that means they are just asking what is the distance between starting and ending point so friends this looks like a parallelogram if it is a parallelogram you should remember one thing both the length should be same right so first this is 14 kilometer and this is 9 kilometer so 14 9 so there we need to find what is the remaining distance so 14 minus 9 will be 5 kilometers so i can say that the remaining will be 5 kilometers so from the starting point till the ending point the distance will be 5 kilometers so finally we got the answer 5 kilometer for first question so friends only thing only thing you should remember if you need to crack all the question in lesson number four after reaching some point just draw a small direction let we move on to question number two a lady leaves from her home she first walks 10 meter in northwest direction so friends let me assume that the lady leaves from her home here so let me assume that this is home right from here she is traveling 10 meter towards northwest so friends northwest will be this side so let me assume that this is 10 meter right 10 meter towards northwest so friends after reaching this point you know that our trick is to draw a small direction like this that is north south west and east okay next point friends and then 10 meter towards southwest direction so friends from here she is again traveling 10 meter towards southwest so friends we know that this is southwest so this is also 10 meter so again she is traveling 10 meters towards southwest so friends got the logic after reaching this point just draw a small direction north south west and east okay friends next point next she walks 10 meter towards southeast so from this point again she is walking 10 meter towards southeast we know that this is southeast so from here she is walking 10 meter towards southeast so finally she reached this point so this is also 10 meter so draw a small direction like this north south west and east okay friends what is the question finally she turned towards her house we know that this is her house so finally from this point she is turning towards her house okay the question is finally she turned towards her house in which direction is she moving so friends from here if she turned towards her house they are just asking in which direction she is moving so i can surely say that in this direction the girl is moving so this direction denotes northeast so we can say that the answer for question number two will be northeast so friends got the logic from here first of all the girl covers northwest 10 meters and then reach this point just draw a small direction after that 10 meter towards southwest 
and from this point 10 meter towards southeast so finally she turned to her house so from this point if she turned towards her house then she will be walking in northeast direction so we can say that northeast for question number two let me move on to question number three k is a place which is located two kilometers away in the northwest direction from the capital p so friends listen carefully k is a place which is located two kilometers away in the northwest direction from the capital p so we can say that from p northwest direction at the two kilometer k is located so friends let me do one thing let me assume that p is here from p northwest direction so northwest direction will be this side so northwest direction at the two kilometer the place k is located so let me assume that here it is k so from p in northwest direction k is located next point friends r is in another place that is located two kilometer away in southwest direction from k so friends listen carefully k southwest at a two kilometer r is located so friends you know that just draw a small direction like this north south west and east friends the most important thing this is k right so here it is k they have told that from k southwest at a two kilometer r is located we know that from k southwest will be this side this is also two kilometer and this is also two kilometer where r is located so just draw a small direction north south west and east so friends this is also two kilometer and this is also two kilometer so both the lines should be equal okay friends next point M is another place located is 2 km away in northwest direction from R. So friends that means from R northwest direction 2 km M is located. We know that R is here. So R northwest direction northwest will be this side. Friends listen carefully R northwest direction at the 2 km M is located. So R northwest will be this side at the 2 km M is located. So friends this is also 2 km this is also 2 km here m should be located both the lines should be same so let me assume that this is north south west and east okay m is located okay friends next point that is last point t is at another place located two kilometers away from southwest direction from m so friends m southwest at a two kilometer t is located so m southwest will be this side at a two kilometer where t is located we know that this is also two kilometer and this is also two kilometer so finally t is located here at a two kilometer right so let me assume that this is north south west and east interesting question friends if you know this question then i can surely say that you will be strong on this lesson number four so friends what is the question in which direction is t located from p that means from p we need to see what is where is t located so friends from p we need to see in which direction t is located from p if i see the t then it is located in the west direction so i can say that answer for question number three will be west so friends got the logic see the question in which direction is t located relation to p that means from p we need to see in which direction the t is located so from p t is located in west direction so i can say that the answer is west for question number three let we move on to the last question that is fourth question sham started walking in northeast direction and travels 30 meter so friends there is a person sham from a starting point he is walking 30 meter towards northeast direction we know that northeast will be this side from here sham is walking 30 meter towards northeast direction so he reached this point just uh, draw a small direction north south west and east okay friends next point now he moved towards east and walked 20 meters so friends from this point she is walking 20 meter towards east we know that eastern side will be this side so he is covering 20 meter towards east so after reaching this point just draw a small direction north south west and east okay friends next point friends now he turns southwest and moves 30 meter so friends from this point he is he is moving 30 meter towards southwest we know that southwest will be this side and this is also 30 meter so from here southwest again 30 meter so both the lines should be equal so finally he reached this point just draw a small direction north south west and east okay friends and finally he walks towards west 5 meters and stop so from here towards west he walked 5 meter and he stopped walking okay i think this is the ending point 
and this is the starting point okay friends what is the question find this distance of sham from starting point that means they are just asking the distance between starting and ending point so friends we know that this is 20 meter and this is 5 meter surely this will be 15 meter so we can say that answer from the starting and ending point will be 15 meters so friends this lesson number four is so simple if you know a simple logic that wherever we are at any place here just draw a small direction after that you try to solve all the remaining question you will surely get an answer even though the question is so difficult so friends thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to watch lesson number five